it's a lot. All right, so I, I, are you still there? Hello? Hey. What's up, people? How you all doing? How you all doing? It's a boy here, Paolo Paolo. Hello? So... Can you, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Oh, okay, yeah. So, um, you, I, I, I said that parenting is quite a very interesting job. You that have been doing it for a long time, how are you? How are you doing it? What is your secret? Secret of children what? I said, do you know that I was feeling sleepy in between? So what I do was I had to stand up and but I was I was also, I was also supposed to be feeling sleepy because I slept in the in the evening. So that I'll have I'll be awake in the night. So but I'm surprised that I was still feeling sleepy, you know. So I was now wondering, could it be that it was because of taking care looking after the children and attending to them or what? Because I don't know. So I said the job already truly is quite exhausting so you that have been parents for many years like more than a decade how are you how have you guys you more than you get you know close to a decade or you know, close to a decade yes because your marriage is about 10 years thereabouts so how are you doing it what is the secret yeah i know that i used to sleep now and now used to sleep. Okay, there's no secrets. Okay, okay. There's no secrets. Mm. Okay, yes. okay. When sleep comes, you just sleep. And we used to be tired too. Yeah, yeah. I get, I get. Maybe I was expecting that there will be a magic pill that will not. Uh, uh, there's no, there's no magic pill. There's no, there's no, what's it called? There's, there's no five steps or four steps. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Just face it yes. And, yes. and live one day at a time. Catching them, washing their bum bum, feeding them bathing them clothing them and all those things man my parents are trying hey let's walk can you can you hear me hello okay. Okay. I can hear you. yeah i said bathing them clothing them washing their bum bum attending to them brushing their teeth this one i said give them food this one um fight uh, separating fights and all those things it's, it's, it is well interesting all right so let's add one more scripture colossians 2 15 we are talking about the good news the gospel god disarmed the principalities and powers that were arranged against us and made a bold display and public example of them in triumphing over them in him and in its the cross he message version he stripped all the spiritual tyrants in the universe of their sham authority at the cross and marched them naked through the streets hmm. kjv and having spoiled principalities and powers 
He made a show of them openly, triumphing over them. NIV. And having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. By the cross. NLT. In this way, God disarmed the, disarmed the evil rulers and authorities. He shamed them publicly by his victory over them on the cross of Christ. Hmm. New KJB. Having disarmed principalities and powers, he made a public spectacle of them. Come to the examination hall, it is come to the graduation ceremony. The Christian life is not come and walk the walk. It's come and enjoy the work that has been done for you. All these things are already done for you. Colossians 2.15 That Christ has taken all principalities and powers, demons, whatever, darkness, and he has stripped them of all their power. Can you imagine having a lion around you that all the teeth has been removed the claws have been removed everything has been permanently removed it cannot grow back everything that is supposed to harm you has been disarmed god has taken the power out of their hands satan does not have any dominion over you he has nothing over you he cannot, he cannot do anything to you. The only thing is, he thrives on your ignorance. He weaponizes your ignorance. He uses your ignorance of not knowing what I'm sharing with you right now as his weapon. That's why some people, sorry, majority, majority of, sorry, majority, majority of people today, when they have any spiritual problem, then you will know what they know about this thing. You see them running up and down from one spiritual home to another spiritual home to another spiritual home. They are looking for, some of them are buying water now. They are buying stone now. They are buying soap. They are buying cream. They are buying all kinds of things just to tell Satan to get out. Because they don't know this. They don't know this. And the funny part is that the people that are doing this, you say what? Hello? Hello? The network is breaking. Oh, it's breaking. Oh, Hello? wow. Oh, let's just, let's manage. Can you hear me back now? I think it's the weather. The weather, the weather has been quite, um, the rain and all that. Can you hear me now? I can hear you, but it's just sometimes we just be okay let me just summarize knowing that we are we're almost true so that's what colossians 2 15 is saying that we have victory already colossians 2 15 is telling us that we have victory already christ has given us victory he has embarrassed and shamed all the things i want to shame you he has done that done that already so what do we do we walk in this consciousness we walk in this awareness this revelation we move in it and then we become for victorious or we and we walk in the victory that has been given to us we are not going to have victory we already have victory we are not going to have healing we already have healing we are not going to be forgiven we are already forgiven as beautiful as that all those other things that you are forgiven you are blessed no we are not going to be, we are already blessed god will bless you as beautiful as it is it's a good prayer but it is not the gospel god has blessed you already that's the gospel so I speak into your life today that you walk in this newness of mind, this understanding of what Christ has done for you in Colossians 2.15. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name. Alright, thank you for coming. I love you. Good evening. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. You're welcome.